All right, so here it is. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions about my a7 III camera rig over on Instagram. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking this entire thing down, showing you guys what it takes to make it and the reason why I decided to build this. What's good creative fam, Brandon Washington here. And first of all, if you're brand new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because this channel is all about filmmaking gear, tips and tutorials. But as I mentioned before, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my a7 III camera rig. Now, before we jump into the rig too much, I do have to say that Small Rig did reach out to me and asked if they could send me some gear to go with my a7 III. So first of all, thank you to them. However, they did not pay or sponsor this video. So everything I'm gonna say is 100% my opinion. All right, now the heart of this rig is the a7 III cage that they make. Now I mentioned this in my video where I talked about 10 accessories that you can get for under 100 bucks. And that is the fact that this cage, this initial cage, does come in at less than $100. However, the way a rig typically works is you can kind of customize and build it and put it together the way you want to. So this becomes how I decided to set mine up. Now for me, my rig was 100% dedicated to be a on tripod or on sticks type of a rig. So yes, it's a little big, yes, it's a little heavy, but overall, I absolutely love the functionality that this gives me. The other thing I like is how easy this thing is to strip down and put together. So the basis of this obviously starts with the cage. The next thing I added on was the top handle. Now you can actually get a combo deal that comes with the top handle. And the way I have my top handle set up, I have a quick release for it so I can easily take the handle on and off. Now on the actual handle itself, I've actually attached a monitoring arm that has a nice little swivel to it and it actually can support very large monitors. So whenever I'm using this on like client work, I'll typically throw my aperture monitor on there that's much bigger, has a lot of nice features, but I can also throw one of my small monitors on there if I'm going for a more run and gun type of a setup. Now next to the monitor, my next big addition to this thing was the battery. Now I knew when I was building this rig that I wanted to have a V-mount battery on here to not only power the camera, but to also power my monitor. Now the only way this is possible is by using a rail system. So having a nice base plate that allowed me to connect some rails to this was absolutely key. From there, I grabbed a nice big V-mount battery and I went ahead and grabbed this little V-mount plate from a company called Cinevate. Now with the company from Cinevate, the thing I liked about their V-mount plate was the fact that it had USB plugs on it, it had a DTAP plug on it, and it had some power plugs that came out of it. For this setup, I only really needed a DTAP and I needed a USB, and so this was absolutely perfect. I slid this onto the back of the camera and then I was able to run all my wires directly to their power supports or their power supplies, and I was easily up and running. Now, why would you need a setup like this? If you are gonna be doing some long-term shooting on your camera with the tripod, this can really come in handy. The fact that you only need one battery in order to charge your camera and monitor can be very, very beneficial. On top of that, if you wanna have a more robust looking setup, so if you're taking this out to a professional job or gig, and you're worried that your client may not take you as seriously because you're just running around with a DSLR, which in my opinion is kind of bogus, but unfortunately that's just the world we live in, and you wanna kind of kit your camera up, going out with this type of a setup will definitely show them that you mean business. The other thing that I'll say is that with this nice little side handle that I threw on here and the added weight of all the additional accessories, going handheld with this is actually a lot easier. The more weight you actually put onto the camera, the more steady it becomes. And because you have this nice battery grip here that you can brace up against yourself, you can get some very smooth cinematic shots that are all handheld using this setup. Now the next thing I wanna bring up is that in order to make this thing super easy to tear down and add to a tripod is that I did go ahead and pick up some of these quick release plates. So you can buy these on Amazon, I'll have links down in the description, but basically these allow you to use Manfrotto plates on your system and be able to quickly adapt things and take your camera system on and off the actual base plate, saving you a lot of time from having to do a lot of screwing. 
You know, all in all, I'm really excited with the way this setup works. And the best part about it is the fact that small rig accessories and setups are really not that expensive. Now, there are a lot more expensive models out there that you definitely can look into. But based on what I've been able to do research on and when I was actually at NAB and tested out some of the other cage companies versus small rig small rig actually has a really solid build and trust me you're not gonna feel like you're getting cheap products like honestly i don't really know how they make money because their products are so inexpensive but they work so well that they're gonna last and they're gonna stand the test of time you know all in all there's not really anything negative i can say about this setup the only thing that i wish was that like, for example, I mentioned earlier that my battery plate is actually made by Cinevate, and that's because Small Rig didn't have one that offered uh, DTAP and USB and extra power ports on there. And so that's the only thing I would say you will have to go outside of Small Rig in order to get, in order to make this rig really work. But really, I think with all the different options that they have and all the little pieces that you can add on to customize, that it's gonna be very easy for you guys to find the perfect rig that'll work well for your setup. Now, if you are interested in the exact pieces that I got for mine to build the rig that I did, I'll have links to everything down in the description and I'll try to make it as detailed detailed as possible so that way you guys could actually order exactly what you need and then be able to buy it and have your rig all set up. I will say it did take me a couple times going back and forth making sure that I was getting everything that I needed because you do kind of have to piece everything together. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle to a certain extent. But all in all, once I had all the pieces, it was super easy to get it all together, get my rig ready to go. And actually, I'll be taking this rig out to shoot a wedding, as, as you guys are seeing this today, but for me, it'll be tomorrow. But there you have it, guys. If you guys have any additional questions on how I got this rig set up or anything about this rig, definitely leave those down in the comments down below. I'll be spending some time in the comments right after I upload this video, and then I'll kind of prematurely just jump in there and try to answer any questions you guys have. So don't hesitate to ask any questions. Also, if you guys are interested, like I said, in any of these things, I'll have links down below to everything. So definitely check those out. Those are affiliated. So if you guys are looking at purchasing this, it does support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I really appreciate it when you guys use those links. But thanks again so much for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.